I'm a really exciting trained pharmacist. I started a career off at what was then Wellcome Foundation. Um, had a brilliant sort of um, technical training, management training. Went to work for another company doing what Specials Lab does now on a very small scale. Then they decided they didn't want to be in that business anymore, so they were selling it. My dad said, well, why can't you do it yourself? And I slept on it and I got up the next morning and I thought, well, yeah, why not? Specials Labs does everything in 24 hours. If you're a doctor or you're a pharmacist, you've got a child who's just had a transplant and you want that medication now, you'll ring up and say, I want a bottle of, of, of such and such, and you'll get it tomorrow. Specials Clinical Manufacturing was our ability to play with machines. We invested about five million or so capital, um, built a lovely facility, equipped up machines, and we offer quite a technical service for helping people in their process development, small scale manufacture. We've gone from three employees to around about 150. Um, we have brought um, sort of intellect into the region. You know, we provide good service to our patients and all those things. And the reason I think that we've done that is because of the way we do business. I only started part time as a credit controller. I got involved in the specials lab um, a couple of months ago and then a couple of years I was made finance manager and I had a team of 10. A year ago I got made general manager. I'm a qualified accountant so um, I've, I've made my progression through the retail sector and through wholesaling. I think when they employed Rachel they thought she was completely different from me. I, I was so unbelievably desperate to get the job because it just got me fired up, it got me excited. I want that all the time and to be I'm horrifically excited all the time, which I am. <laughs> well, scarily. <laughs> God. <laughs> I'm Katie. Um, I did a degree in microbiology at Leeds. I didn't do like any year in industry or anything, so I had very little practical experience. So I came in as a trainee. I've loved it. It's been a really steep learning curve. It, it's a very, very good place culturally to work for. It's different from how you'd expect it to be, but I've really enjoyed it and I'm glad. I ended up here really. The products we're making are very serious, but um, what we do is we have fun with it and we always um, challenge ourselves every day, which I think is most important. Everyone's very good at what they do and just very, you know, very interested, very interested in, in our business and, and, you know, ultimately in our patient care. It doesn't matter what level you're at, who you are in the company can make a difference. Everybody's input is, is, is really respected and, you know, and, and thought highly of and, and I think that's that's a fantastic thing. It, it is important. Um, what we do is actually very traditional. It's highly regulated. So on the face of it, you could you could sort of take an approach to business like this and say you cannot afford to be innovative or creative because this is the sort of stuff that you're dealing with. But it is about just a couple of different things, like putting a bit of artwork in to make it look like a nice place to work. Again, that's not rocket science, but we're quite personable people, so we run a business like that as well. Brilliant. I can stop feeling sick now. <laughs> <laughs> that was fantastic. That was really, really good.